There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand in all the beaches on the earth. That's a spectacular, phenomenal thought. And we're just starting to learn about planets now that are orbiting other stars. And there are now upwards of 450 of those planets uh, known. And we're, we're discovering multiple planet systems. So it's quite possible that there are more planets even than stars in the universe. For the 40 years or so or more that I've been doing astronomy, there has been one excitement after another, one brand new puzzle to, to solve. Our latest is the mystery of dark energy, which makes up 73% of the mass and energy content in the universe. There's dark matter, which has a, a larger, heritage, a longer heritage. That makes up 20 something percent. We know nothing about dark energy. We know a little about dark matter. The stuff that we know a lot about, the ordinary material that you and I are made of, is a mere 4%. So I see the Giant Magellan Telescope in its broadest sense of helping us to figure out more about the 4%, but also a lot about the 96% that is dark, of which we know very little. The GMT, because it has such a large mirror, can see exquisite detail, much more than any of the current technology. In the history of science, every time that we've built a new, bigger telescope, we've made major discoveries that no one could have possibly anticipated, complete surprises, and the GMT is the next step in that progression. With the Giant Magellan Telescope, it just revolutionizes it. It's as if you suddenly just gave a child a new pair of binoculars that were larger and larger, and you can just see the universe in so much more detail than we've ever had access before. Every photon is precious, and in particularly so when you're trying to look at the very distant reaches of the universe. Um, you have to remember these, these photons have been traveling for billions of years, right? And so by the time they get to your telescope, they're a precious few of them. The larger the telescope, the more photons you can collect. The more photons you can collect, the more information you can get. So you can better study these very distant galaxies and the extra gather light gathering power, the extra spatial resolution that GMT offers and the capabilities of the instruments we plan to build will push us into an era where instead of simply detecting young planetary systems, we're actually studying these systems and really understanding how systems like our own solar system or systems that we never could have imagined before are coming into being and, and how they will evolve over time. With a telescope like the Giant Magellan Telescope, we can see 14 billion years of history and see different galaxies as they looked in the past over that entire time range. What is special about the GMT and what's special about the GMT compared to the other proposed large telescopes like the GMT is that it should be able to compensate for the atmosphere much better than any of them. And in fact, it vastly is superior to HST and the other telescopes. Technology has improved to the point that we can actively change the shape of the mirrors that are associated with the Giant Magellan Telescope to counteract the effects of the Earth's atmosphere. And so with something the size of the Giant Magellan Telescope, if we have a spectrograph on it so we can spread out the light of an object into a rainbow and analyze the velocities and the composition, then we can do that much better potentially with a large ground-based telescope that we can get our hands on on a daily basis. McDonald Observatory is a good astronomical site. We observe about two-thirds of the nights in a year, but it is not the best site in the world. Chile has many more clear nights. The atmosphere is much more stable. The image quality of stars and galaxies is much higher, and one gets a better return on your in huge investment by putting the telescope at what is a very, very good site. This will be a paradigm shift in what we understand about the universe, about galaxies, and about life. We want Texas to be the leader in this endeavor. A key to having a first-rate department is to have the absolute best faculty you have. And faculty members, especially when they're young, are extremely mobile, and they're, they're interested in going places where the best research opportunities are, where they have a chance to make an impact on the field. 
And those kind of opportunities exist in places where there's first-rate instrumentation available to them. We really want to be on this leading, cutting edge of doing the research instead of sitting back and letting other people do it and then sort of trying to fill in the little details. And so that's what we're driving for here is to be leaders in the world, not just followers. If the University of Texas and Texas A&M can uh, remain strong partners in Giant Magellan Telescope, then we will have access to uh, an unparalleled facility that will allow us to do leading edge science. That'll help us tremendously in recruiting new students and postdocs and faculties to come to UT because we can offer them this observational resource that nobody else can. If we're gonna build these next generation of telescopes, I mean, these are one of a kind, completely new engineering feats. To have, to be really be able to accomplish this, we need to be one part in a bigger whole to be pulling in the same direction so that we can accomplish something great. One of the major motivations for doing this type of work is trying to answer the question, is there life elsewhere in the universe? The GMT offers the possibility of making real breakthroughs in the, our understanding of the, of the formation and early evolution of planets. Humanity has always questioned our role in the cosmos. Where do we come from? Where are we going? And with a telescope like the Giant Magellan Telescope, we're finally able to look at those moments in time when the universe began. And we can study how the first objects arose in the universe. And it will answer some truly profound questions that we have just as a species. The 21st century is poised to be, I think, uh, a new golden age in astronomy. And I think the Giant Magellan Partners, we are now poised to address those new questions. And it's a very exciting opportunity.